Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of our garage workshop setup. Um, this is just how I set it up when I was getting some ideas. I did a lot of video research on YouTube just to get some um, inspiration as well. So this is how I ended up with. So I figured if you guys are trying to figure out how to organize your garage or set it up, this might give you some inspiration for some of that. So stay tuned. Guys, so we're inside the garage here and you'll be able to see in a second, but it is a two car garage with a tandem section over there that's part of the workshop area. But over here in this one car area, basically use this for storage from, you know, overflow from the house. So I got two different shelves here. This one kind of houses um, cleaning products, painting supplies, stuff like that. And then on the bigger, heavier duty shelf, we have, um, you know, a bunch of uh, drinks and stuff that we have for the refrigerator and then just the exterior decorations and everything. So these shelves come in really handy. Um, they hold a lot of weight. So you can usually pick these up at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I think we got this one at Menards on a holiday sale. We have one in the basement as well and have it loaded with tubs. And because it has these metal wires as the shelf, um, it's able to hold a ton of weight. So those things do come in handy if you have a lot of storage needs. So coming around this way, um, you'll see we just have a, a, an extra garage refrigerator we used to put you know drinks in there beer stuff like that um, and then over here is where I have the compressor setup um, you'll see I have it on a reel just to kind of keep the hose up and out of the way so generally I only use it in here if I have to use it outside um, I can attach a longer hose and run it you know either through the garage out back there or just out here but it's long enough to reach the cars um, air up the tires if we need them so um, large tank there and then shot back and fan um, over here you'll see in the center here we have a table this is kind of a multi-use I use it for the business so you'll obviously see I, I have a small business that I run out of here as well um, so I use this table as you know doing my transfers and stuff like that but then we also hang out out here so we'll have um, a game on and kind of all hang out around here you know smoke cigars drink some whiskey stuff like that um, so it's kind of nice to have this table in the center um, people can sit around and, and stuff like that. So along with the TV, we do have a surround sound system out here. I have it turned off just so the audio doesn't pick that up, but I have a receiver with a couple speakers over here and then kind of place out behind here. And that's just cool for when we're watching movies or games out here. Um, and then, so this, this whole section of the garage is kind of used for the business and workshop area. So I try to keep everything as clean and organized as I can, especially since I do have customers coming in over here, like to keep it clean. But all my tools, um, I usually keep in these tool chests over here. Um, ideally, I would love to have one long one, but at our old house, that wasn't possible. So I had to get two separate ones, which is fine because it's easier to move them around if I need to get them out of the way. But this is just kind of where I house all my tools and kind of keep them organized. All right, so in this bigger toolbox here, um, on the side I do have a, a little carriage here where it holds the couple um, drills that I use the most and then the chargers. And then over here I got some impact um, sockets here that actually are too big to fit inside the drawers of the toolbox. And then just another thing where I hold tape measures because that way they're easy access. Um, top, just kind of a miscellaneous catch-all. And then the top two drawers is where I keep pens, pencils, stuff like that. And then um, this one, I keep Allen wrenches. Uh, we do have some cigar lighters and bottle openers. These things are cool. I like these because um, when we do have the extension cords, you can use these to, instead of a zip tie, just use these. So they, those come in handy. And then I just got drawers of screwdrivers here. And then down here, just miscellaneous wrenches. And then this drawer is just kind of a catch-all for the air compressor parts and stuff I use for electrical plumbing work. And then the rest of the drawers here are kind of just your wrenches. And then I got a couple for um, larger sockets. And then some more socket sets down here. And then this one is just um, stuff to use for you know mounting pictures, stuff like that. Got a laser level in there as well. And then this last one is where I keep all the um, extra power cords. Um, got a spare um, hose for the air compressor and then the air impact down there as well. 
And then the secondary toolbox over here is just uh, some more tools. So got kind of a catch-all of gloves and power cords for separate cameras and everything. Um, top drawer I use for putty knives and razor blades. Same thing over here, extra blades. And usually I have a staple gun in here, but it's over at my neighbor's and uh, staples. Uh, this is just kind of stuff for automotive, extra automotive parts and um, for doing trim work. And then I keep all the different types of hammers I, I need inside that drawer. And then this top one I use for um, extra parts for the ARs that I build. So I got a case in here with extra parts in case I need those. And then down in this one is where I keep all some extra drills and then all the accessories for all my drills that I have. So drill bits and um, stuff like that. And then this one is just full of different types of screws, nails, and all that. I like to keep them in the same drawer so that way I know where they're all at. And then the bottom one is just another catch-all. So you got a space heater, uh, you know, book on the truck I have, and just um, some random stuff in there. So that's kind of a catch-all. All right, so moving on over here to the workbench area. So I actually built these both these workbenches myself just with some 2x4s and a sheet of plywood. Um, I don't have any specs or anything on those. I have a workshop book that ha had it, so pretty easy. I may do a video on, on how to build one of these, but just, you know, standard two by fours and um, whatever you want for the tabletop. I just went with plywood. Um, so I got two of them here, and then I got a vise for when I'm building barrels and uppers for the guns. That comes in handy. And then basically this is kind of where I do any work on guns or just any house projects as well. But you'll see right now it's set up for um, cleaning guns or building those, um, but I'll do any miscellaneous house project. Um, again, TV up here, which is nice because I was able to set it to where no matter where I'm sitting in the garage, I can watch it. And then if we're outside, it kind of pulls out just like that. I don't want to knock the antenna off, but it does pull out in case, you know, we're, it's a nice day and we're actually outside. And then we'll just crank up the volume. Got the um, receiver down there that controls everything. Um, and then with the sonic cleaner, use that for the for the business as well. I do have extra distilled water down in there for those. And then just some miscellaneous um, nail guns or nails for the nail gun, stuff like that down there. Um, but yeah, so in this toolbox is actually all the stuff that I use for gun cleaning. So all the brushes and everything like that. Got the patches. Um, this is where all the bore snakes are. And then this is where I keep um, most of the tools that I'll need as well for the gun cleaning. So it's kind of nice to keep that stuff organized and in one area so you know where that is. Um, up here, this is just a shelf I got from Lowe's. It's our Cobalt, Cobalt brand. This is just where I keep all the chemicals. So you'll see up there I got you know miscellaneous auto stuff, um, oil for the um, air compressor things, and then this is where I have all the cleaning stuff for the guns as well, and then just some miscellaneous stuff around the house. So it's kind of nice to have that stuff put away all in one area, and then if I need to grab it, just open it up and um, grab it from there. And then moving on down here, you'll just see um, one thing that I love about our garage is our electrical panel is right here. So that actually made it, and one of the awesome, best investments I did was run more outlets around the workbench here. So that way, because I only had one outlet out here um, that's over there by the refrigerator. And every time I try to use anything, it would trip, uh, especially since it's connected to the outlets outside. So I had an electrician out and ran conduit to the, um, the boxes here along the workbenches at the right height. And then I also had him run um, 240 over here to this heater. So nice thing about it is if it's, you know, 30 degrees outside or whatever, just crank this thing up and you, with the garage doors closed, you can work out here. Um, it is nice, but yeah, you do have to have 220, 240 volt come in for that. So that's why to have um, a separate line come in for that, but definitely a good investment, especially if you're going to spend a lot of time in the garage, I highly recommend one of those. Cause once you turn it on within about five to 10 minutes, you get hot and Honestly, I start sweating and have to turn it off. So, um, but then I've just got another workbench over here. This just has some miscellaneous stuff in it. Um, it's kind of an old school one that my great grandpa built. So I refinished it before we moved over here and just kind of keep it as a, an extra workbench. Um, in this tandem area, so this is a little bit deeper than most two car garages, which is nice for me. 
So this is where I have two different safes. I have one for my personal stuff and one for the business. And I have these safe covers on them, so that way if you know, I have the garage doors open and people are walking by or driving by, you really don't know what those are. Um, so that is kind of nice. If you guys are interested in those, I'll post a link in the description below to where you can find those on Amazon. But they're for the, these are Liberty safe covers. Um, and depending on what size safe you have, you can use those and also helps keep them clean and stuff like that. Um, so just tubs I use for um, transporting to the gun shows that we do. And then just got boxes for shipping, some extra chairs back there. And then inside this cabinet is where kind of just keep some extra inventory that I can't fit in the bigger safe. And then just um, all my power tools I keep down in the bags in there as well, um, kind of out of the way. And if I need them, just go pull them out. So that's one thing I like is I like to find a way to where I can organize my tools to where they're in one spot. So if I need it, I know where it's at. Um, I like to keep it that way. My wife says I'm OCD, but oh well, she knows where everything is too. So. Um, and then over here again, just the shop vac for keeping the garage clean. And in the summertime, I do use the fan just to get some air movement in here um, as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, we do a lot of, you know, have a lot of the neighbors come over and hang out in here. So good area to, to have people over and entertain, but also have a nice area for me for a business or just doing any general work that you need to. Um, if it's a nice day, like I said, I'll keep the garage doors open. Um, and then if it gets cold, shut them and then put that heater on. So um, that's basically it. Um, up there, you'll see that I do have some storage up there. I recently had to do a bunch of wood rot repairs on my house, so I had leftover wood. So to, I didn't want to throw it away because lumber prices are crazy right now. So I just got some hooks at Home Depot and just kind of screwed them into the studs up there. And that's where I'm able to kind of store them up and out of the way. And if I ever need them, I just take a ladder and go up there. Also see, I have the saw horses um, up there on some hooks as well, just to keep those up and out of the way because I don't use those very often. And that way they're not taking up room anywhere else. So um, yeah, that's pretty much how I have it set up for me. So figured I'd show you guys in case you want some organization ideas or how to set it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down, down in the comments or if you have any other ideas on, on some cool setups, just let me know. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.